The following program is presented by the Diocese of Venice in Florida. The Diocese of Venice in Florida presents the Mass. This TV Mass comes to you from Marco Island, Florida at San Marco Parish. We are gathered here this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning to you all. Morning, and welcome to all of you, my brothers and sisters, to San Marco Parish, especially for those who homebound for this Sunday celebration as we celebrate the uh, Pentecost of Sunday. And as we come here together, my brothers and sisters, as a family of faith, let us acknowledge our sins so we can prepare ourselves for this sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most deeply fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together we say, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was, that was at work with the gospel was first proclaimed. Fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. 
At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd because they were confused, because each one of them heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phygria, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya, near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, there were disciples where, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst. And he said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain 
are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What is ever, or what is the, the best gift ever that you think that you received on your birthday? For some people, maybe a beautiful blouse. For some people, maybe a very expensive bottle of wine. Or for someone, it's just the, the very good meal together with the family. Or for someone, I know, it's a very expensive car for a, for a little girl only 18 years old. Or for some of us nowadays, it is that it's just a phone call from your grandchildren whom you haven't seen for a while in your nursing home, calling to say, Grandma and Grandpa, how are you doing? My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the birth of the Universal Church in the Pentecost Sunday. And what is the best gift ever that our Lord Jesus Christ, the reason one, can give to the church? Our Lord, reason Christ, give the church on the celebrating of birthday is the peace of him, the peace of true reason Christ and the Holy Spirit. So as we celebrate on the Pentecost Sunday, let us truly meditate about his gift because only his peace, the true peace of risen Christ, can bring us the love, bring us the calmness, and knowing that as he is surrounding, he is with us. And only the, whole, the true Holy Spirit, that is, can give us the understanding and the reason that why we are still here, why we still are continue walking on this journey, even though our body is sick and frail, the gift of the Holy Spirit will give us the wisdom and understand of all the will of God in our lives. So let us pray for that gift, the best gift ever that our Lord Jesus Christ has given to us on this Pentecost Sunday. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. First men found salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and a scholar church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Bless us with the Holy Spirit. We bring our prayers and petitions to the Lord. For Bishop Duane, all bishops, priests and religious, may the Holy Spirit bless and strengthen them in their pastoral duties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church that filled with the Holy Spirit of Christ, she may be ever renewed to proclaim the gospel through the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful of the Diocese of Venice, that we who have the Holy Spirit as our advocate 
may in turn be advocates for the vulnerable, the forgotten, the unborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for giving us your Son and pouring out your Spirit. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you make your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by saying now your spirit upon them, let it do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this of you and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess our resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Mark, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who pass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take, take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace of you have given, that the gifts of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you for watching TV Mass. The TV Mass is made possible because of contributions from viewers like you. To make a contribution to TV Mass, please send a check to the Diocese of Venice, care of TV Mass, 1000 Pinebrook Road, Venice, Florida, 34285. And you can view this Mass or previous Masses on the Diocese of Venice website. Visit dioceseofvenice.org and scroll down to the televised mass button.